Yeah. Yes. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, please. Please, Logan. Oh, this has been so long for this fish. Well, I get asked, Jay, well, what do you do for a living? Do you, do you make YouTube videos for a living? Is that, is that actually what you do? And yes, I, I'm like the luckiest guy on earth that in the last couple years, I've been able to turn this into a full-time job. This is like a childhood dream and baby Jay would, would not believe this. I always thought about having a fishing show. I, I didn't think it was in the cards. I didn't know. And all of a sudden now it's, you know, I'm able to make my living making videos. You guys are watching and I'm forever grateful. I don't know how long this ride will last, but I will enjoy every minute of it. And without, you know, you guys watching and without companies partnering, this this wouldn't be possible. And this, this is a cool video. This is something that um, we alluded to earlier in the year, but we did a contest. This is through Team Fui Automotive and West Coast RV partners of mine, new for this year. And we're doing a giveaway and taking two of you guys fishing. So we picked the winner, Logan and his brother. I don't know Logan's brother's name yet. Logan just referred to him as his brother. So I'm not even sure, I'm gonna meet them very shortly. Tomorrow, I'll give you more of a rundown. Basically, there's a beautiful glacier out on Lake Winnipeg. Um, Chris gone, guide on the lake, pulled it out of this track truck, put it on apparently a pretty sweet spot and that's where we're headed. So tonight we're getting settled in. Tomorrow, Logan and his brother coming out. I'm giving them the full experience fishing all day, cooking for them. But yeah, we got the rig parked and sled unloaded. We got a, a good amount of gear. You know, got the essentials. Rainbow trout flops, a little old spice, water, gas, measuring board, 10 inch iron for those big, big walters. And then yeah, a couple rods. And I hope Logan and his brother have the best day ever. And I hope I don't catch all the big fish tonight because that could happen. Here we go. Well, that's gonna be my home. This is bigger than the last glacier I filmed in. We gotta get it all set up though. But I'm gonna just drop off some gear right now. The 20 footer, I think I was in a 17 footer last time. This thing is huge. I'm excited. I love spending the night on the ice. Boom. Oh yeah. Yeah, this'll do. Boom. There's a the cord. There we go, we got lights. Crank that temp. All right, we're back. Um, took a little bit to get set up. Huge thanks to Chris Gone, Gone Fishing. I went and visited some of his other shacks to pick up a slush bucket. And he helped me get the shack lower down here and that sort of stuff. I don't have much experience setting these things up. Chris has a lot of experience. If you want to rent a sleeper shack on Lake Winnipeg, Chris is one of the guys you can rent one through, very knowledgeable. And he's the one that put this glacier on the spot. So anyways, we got this thing right here. It's called a slush bucket. It's made by Catch Cover. Hopefully this works. Look at the size of this extension. Woo -hoo! 18 inch extension, baby. It'll be dangerous. Okay, you gotta be careful. It's a lot of slush. We're gonna finish scooping the holes and then, yeah, we'll see. I haven't really been paying attention to live scope. Maybe there's been fish run by, I'm not sure. Good morning, crew. Well, we had a decent sleep. We're going to pick up the boys, to pick up Colin and Logan. Anyways, we'll go meet, uh, meet the boys. <laughs> okay, it's not that long of a ride. We made it, boys! It's a lot warmer in here. Welcome to the Glacier Estates. Oh my gosh. Oh. Holy moly. That'll work? Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys fished in a shack like this before? Never. No. All right, the boys are in the house. <laughs> we made it to Canada. We did it. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to get this right. I'm gonna get this right, Logan Collin. Yeah, got it, there right. you go. All right. I, I only found out uh, after, I don't know, after a couple weeks after I told them they won, that they're twins. So I thought about bringing name tags, but <laughs> we'll figure it out. How far did you guys drive to come? 
Uh, I drove five hours up to get to him, and then once I got to him, then it was an 11-hour trip. Ridiculous. Yep. And you just got a passport? Yeah, about three days ago. <laughs> That's yep. ridiculous. Yeah. When, uh... When Logan won, he's like, I, I gotta take my brother. And I'm like, no, that's that's great. We got we got room for another angler and uh, he doesn't have a passport. So this is their first time to Canada. First time out of the country. First yeah. time out of the US. Yep. And you're in this ridiculous ice shack. Couldn't have asked for anything better. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys have caught walleyes before though. Oh, yes. oh yeah. They've yeah. caught walleyes oh, before. Yeah. All right, well, today they're gonna hopefully catch their first greenback walleye. Maybe you guys can fish side by side here and you guys can use the live scope. I'm never this early. Normally, like I'm, I'm pretty good at sleeping in. But this time it was like, no, these guys came for one epic day. So we're gonna get set up uh, on Lake Winnipeg for walleyes with the boys. Do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be a personal chef all day. That's the plan. I'm just gonna cook for you guys. You guys are gonna fish. I think jigs and minnows. So in Manitoba, it's barbless. Are you familiar? Have you heard of barbless before? Oh yeah. yeah. Just got a pinch. And these come from, well, these are from the paw, but this is what a lot of the fish are eating. These are shiners. That's what everyone uses here or live minnows, but then we'll see. Rattle baits are super popular here too. Just like that, we're fishing. We're fishing we in Canada. Fishing. Does it feel surreal? Yeah. You're actually here doing it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean... I don't know what the odds were. I think there was... There, I'm trying to think how many entries there were. I think it was like 6,000 or something. Yeah, that's what she said on your story. And it was like... Not to not to bring a downer on anything, but literally, uh, we picked. I picked Colin up and we drove back home for my grandpa's funeral. Oh, that's what it was from? And we've met my, all my cousins from Tennessee were up, so we all met yeah. him at McDonald's. And yeah. I was on my way home yeah. from that McDonald's trip. Tomorrow was the funeral and we're like, we're all down and stuff. And then it was like, Jay Seaman's tag doing an Instagram <laughs> story. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm freaking out. My fiance yeah. sitting in the back seat and I like look and it's like, you won the contest. <laughs> and, I'm, and Colin's like, well, it's, no, it's, it's something like- There is lots of scam accounts. That's the problem too. It's just like, whenever you do a contest, there's always people messaging me. They're like, did I win? People just make, fake accounts yeah well that's at least a positive on a yeah on a sad that, thing i hope i hear lots of screaming if you hook a fish when i'm outside you'll hear squealing <laughs> so like yeah i mean you can see the grids right so a big one you want to see one that's like spreading two grids you want to see one that's spreading almost three grids that's the good one but we are in the shack we are in the shack <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna like look at the camera later and be like, he's gonna be i mean then he we are. <laughs> I got a couple other things for you, but some catch and cook knives for you boys. Oh my goodness. Kind of let you go home empty handed. All right, Chef Jace, gonna start cooking. We got bacon, we got hash browns. I'm just gonna cook it all. We're gonna get this shack smelling like bacon. Well, the boys are fishing. We got hash browns, some bacon going on. I'm just gonna be the chef today and hopefully these guys catch some fish eventually. I'm not letting them leave the shack until they catch a fish. They might be stuck here for weeks. <laughs> if we're stuck on Winnipeg in this, I think we're all right. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. Yep. Something's happening? Yep. Yep, yep. No! Yeah! Yes! We'll take it, I don't even care. <laughs> Woo! They're on the board. Driving all that way paid off. It's not a greenback, it's a sauger, but that's all right. First Canadian fish. First Canadian fish, there you go. There you go. Woohoo! All right. On the board. Where you go. Woohoo! Nice. That was exciting. That was awesome. Well, we got the first one out of the way. Now we need some, now we need some greenbacks. Last time I did a contest, took a guy muskie fishing and we didn't hook a single muskie all day. So <laughs> we've already done better. <laughs> Make our little buffet table. All right, boys. Don't be shy. You brought so cheese? No way. We were <laughs> Let's say. True Wisconsinites here. There was no way we weren't going to come without some quality cheese. There you go. Quality Wisconsin cheese. <laughs> what do we got? What are the. We got some horseradish cheddar cheese, my personal favorite. Interesting. And then the extra sharp classic cheddar cheese. Wow, you guys are true Wisconsinites. Yeah, I can't go wrong. <laughs> That's great. More breakfast, guys. Oh, there was a fish on me. Oh, it's a sauger. When you guys want to take this one? Sauger. Oh, yes! Woo! Oh, they're getting bigger! Oh. <laughs> this is why you come to Canada. Right there. We'll get in the middle. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Yeah. 
Another sauger. Oh man, that is the biggest sauger yet for sure. Monster. That's what they drove 15 hours for right there. <laughs> What's the biggest personality difference between you two? I talk more yeah, and he's smarter. He's more yeah. social. Yeah, he's smarter, I'm more social. Just need a big dumb one. Two big dumb ones. Yeah, you got two. <laughs> got two in the shack already. Do you like never see Canadian money? No. Whoa. <laughs> Shiny. I don't, this is hilarious. This is like, <laughs> I mean, these guys the, have never seen Canadian money before. Look at look at that compared to this. It's Whoa, so much cooler. It's like <laughs> Just mesmerized by Canadian money. I mean, come on now. <laughs> That's so much cooler. How's the morning been? Non-stop action? Oh yeah. How yeah. was breakfast though? Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> Highlight breakfast was amazing. Yeah. Better than the three saugers. <laughs> well, we didn't want to take him to the best spot right away. So no, but Chris is going to pull us out deeper at the track track shortly. That's a pretty common thing is like, start off in, you know, seven to 10 feet, move out. We're probably gonna go to 14, 15 feet of water and just hasn't been many fish moving through, so. Okay, he's 10 to 15 minutes away. I'd say let's, uh, start. yeah, let's pack everything up. Chris gone, everybody. You're getting the VIP treatment here. What do you think, guys? It's a real truck. Hey, yeah, you're on. All right, look at this. Auger's as tall as you. This is your first time using an electric auger? First electric, first time in Canada, first. A lot of first. We just need that first green back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's yeah. so fast. Like a pro? What do you think of the ice up here? It's so thick, not, it's ridiculous. Not the same as Wisconsin? Not really. All right, we got Chris gone with us. Um, is it true that you live on the lake, Chris? Yes, it is. <laughs> How, well, three months? Yeah, three months. January 1st till April 1st, pretty much. Wow. Man, th that is, I mean, the way to do it and to be in tune with the fish is to spend every day on the water. When I used to guide, that's when I felt like I was the most in tune with what was going on. And when you live on the lake, like, you fish in the evenings too and you're- Yeah, oh yeah, I follow them around and like follow the pods of fish around. How, so you've got three sleepers, one you sleep in and two two can be rented out? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Nice, and you do like guided run and gun type stuff as well? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put the people in the sleepers during the day and then I'll run around with groups for eight hours during the day chasing the fish and- And that eat. truck? That truck's <laughs> a big part of the deal? Yeah, it does the job. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, huge thanks to Chris. I, I'm gonna link him below. Yeah, if you're looking for an adventure on Lake Winnipeg, uh, Chris, Chris has the fish dialed. And we tried a big fish spot this morning, it wasn't happening, but we're moving a little deeper, which is pretty common later in the day. We got the glacier out here. I'm gonna back up, those skis will yep. come out, and I'll drag you to the, the flats there. Okay, thank you so much. Yep. That works better. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Why'd you guys make such a mess? I just cleaned this up. <laughs> it was all him. Is this what you expected? Fish with Jay and you'd be scooping holes all day? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Four hours. Oh, there's one right on it, Logan. Right on it. Oh, come on. It's coming up. It's a big one. Yep. Nice. Another sauger. <laughs> These guys love their saugers. Sauger King, Logan. We'll see if this pizza, oh, oh, wow. Got hot on top there. Boys better be hungry. Oh no, it's, oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Oh, this one. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Nothing like cutting pizza with a Leatherman on a catch cover. <laughs> well, the fishing could be better, but. Food's good. The amenities are all right. <laughs> Food's delicious. <laughs> and we're about to crack into the cheese. Not sure about that. The Piggly Wiggly. Nice, I like it. Yeah, first impressions of fishing in Canada? Um, 
so it's interesting. Not what I expected, <laughs> but <laughs> expected more fish. Yeah. And yeah, we'll take what we can get. Yeah, it's been a crazy trip. It's been so cool. It's not like, done. It's not it's done. It's not done. But the fish is just just the end. Um, hopefully, it's been a crazy trip. Just being able to spend time with Jay and in, in this shack and everything. Yeah, this place yeah. is gorgeous. You guys might have to buy one of these. Actually. I do gotta say, uh, talking to uh, Zane at West Coast, he said, he said, special to this video, anyone that wants to buy one of these, if you mention my name, my videos, when you go to buy one, thousand dollars off. I thought that was pretty good. Steal. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, if you are looking for a Christmas gift idea for me, mom, dad, Sam, I take one. Any color is fine. All right, let's try this cheese. This is extra sharp cheddar. This is my favorite. Will it cut me? It shouldn't, but it might. Extra sharp. He's <laughs> just watching <laughs> so closely. What is he gonna think? It's good cheese. It's okay yeah. if you don't like it. No, it's good <laughs> cheese. I like, yeah, extra sharp cheese. Yeah. Haven't really talked about tackle because we haven't really been catching fish. I'm using a head spin jig. The guys are both using tungstens right now. I've been using the dinner bell, jig and spoon. Yeah, a bit of everything, but with some meat because the fish do not seem to be in a good mood. Two fish moving towards us. Tom's moving fast. 65 feet out, but they both look big. That fish is big, guys. Like that's a 20, that's the trip. Look at that. Like you can see right there that he's bigger than two feet. Look at this fish. Look how it's kicking and doing and, oh, that's a walleye nose down looking for a meal. <laughs> this has been so tough today. We need a fish. Okay, maybe try pounding in the mud. He hasn't reacted. Drop it right into the mud. No! Don't do this test, man! That's a good sign. Oh, guys. Any of these would be like so good, you might have to adjust. Ooh, big mama rolling in. This is killing me. That's like a 24 inch fish, 25 inch fish. Oh, baby. No, don't stop. Try pounding the mud. Call him back. It's kind of a last resort. Gah! That was stupid. That was so stupid. Oh man. That was that was it. What's going on? On the left side. Oh yeah. Close the gap, baby. Four feet. Come on. Give us one of these. Oh, sweet Tammy. She smells that minnow for sure. Drop a little lower. A little lower. Yeah, just pop it there a couple times. Couple tap, tap, taps. Okay, she just saw it. Okay, wait till she gets a little closer. Give it a couple taps. Just wait till she gets a touch closer. Now start lifting with a couple taps. Oh, she's so close. We've seen her lift off bottom. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, try dropping in the mud. She's not lifting up. Right into the mud. Just like go into the mud and then just like kind of like it's something just like, yeah. Oh yeah, she just backed up for it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Come on, baby. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, please. Please, Logan. Oh, this has been so long for this fish. Oh, that's a nice big one. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yes! yes! You see that? Yes! yes! Oh. Dude, that's a monster. Oh, wow. That is, wow. A, that is a monster. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> what do you think? Hold her up. I'm going to grab the camera. First green back, boys. Oh, holy <laughs> This thing is a monster. Get in there. Holy Bros, get in there together. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm shaking right now. I am shaking. Was that worth all day? Oh for my that gosh. Day? It was so worth it. My gosh. Are we all relieved? Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to put her in the water and then we'll get a quick picture, okay, guys? Okay. Yeah, slide her back, baby. First green back. Oh, sunk right through. All right. Boys! Woo! My goodness! <laughs> Woo! Oh man. 
There's never been oh, so much <laughs> loot up here. That was <laughs> insane. Oh. Work for that fish. You guys deserve that. Oh. Thank you. My goodness. Oh, we got one. We got <laughs> it. <laughs> it was a good oh. one. At least, if you're going to get one all day, at least make it a good one. Uh, I can tell you that's a massive relief for me. I'm sure for these guys too. <laughs> oh my that gosh. That they didn't oh. drive. I mean, we still had a good time together, but we were talking to Chris Gone and he said, live minnows were out fishing salties 10 to one. We caught it on the meathead, on the meathead jig there. And the drench, frostbite drench. And the drench did it. Absolutely perfect. Oh Moonlight. man, that was good. Like a beauty. That fish, I mean, typically you want it, we try to get the fish lifting off the bottom and turned up. That one wasn't wanting to lift off the bottom because they're in such a tough mood. And finally pound in the mud and that rod tip was just, it was yep. such, oh man. Sorry, that's your biggest walleye open water too? That's my biggest walleye ever. Really? All right, amazing. Biggest wall of your life. Yeah. So good, guys. Man, I'm so happy about that fish. Ready to retire? I'm just, I'm just <laughs> taking everything in. Uh, doesn't it feel like the longest day ever? <laughs> like, it was this morning that we were at the creek. It was this morning when we met you. <laughs> yeah, and now we're best friends. All right, well, the boys decided, even though they have a hotel in Selkirk, they're like, we're just gonna tough it out and fish all night. We did, the, we did the math. If they fished all the way, they have to be back for class on Monday, which is ridiculous. So they can fish till nine o'clock tomorrow. So if, if they do fish the entire time, that means they will have fished 27, 27 hours. I don't know if the camera will come back on, but if not, we'll see in the morning. So happy we caught that one greenback. That was one of, one of the toughest days I've had on Lake Winnipeg. All right, well, now I'm gonna just film you guys sleep. <laughs> Good morning, boys. Good morning, Jay Stevens. <laughs> We're back. Up high, up, 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 real, real. Crank, 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 crank. Keep going, keep going. Leave that fish up high. Drop your down a little bit. He's like right now. He's gonna eat it. Got it. Nice. Let's go. That's a breakfast fish right there. Let's oh go. yeah! Hey! First green back. Let's go! Yes! Let's go. <laughs> that was so cool. Uh, that was, I mean, right under the ice. I promise these boys were cooking some fish. And there you go. Colin's first green back. Was it worth sleeping on the ice? Oh yeah. <laughs> nice buddy, good job. That one's gonna be a breakfast burrito right oh, there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna cook right now. It'll pretty much be cooked and then we'll have to go. They almost made it to Canada though to fish fry. How do you want to eat the fish? Do you just want, uh, like, do you, do you want to do fish tacos? Or do you just want to do fish and some potatoes? We can go for tacos. White out, garlic seasoning to the peppers, onions. Or the, the, what's good about fish tacos is that it makes fish go a long way. So when you have tough fishing and you make fish tacos, Catch and cook. Okay, this can go on the shelf there. We'll just check the oil here. See if it's hot enough yet. Come on. Is he still moving in? He's getting calm, he's getting calm. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, buddy. Buddy. No! 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 Oh. That was the biggest fish oh. I've seen on live scope, I think. <laughs> okay, drop back down. Oh, man. No. Oh, that was too picture perfect. Right as you're going to Oh, no. no. Oh, man. Guys, you didn't do anything wrong. It just popped off. Just means you'll have to come back one day. Back to Canada. We got hot oil, that is key. Key to success. Dang, that's gonna be some crispy fish, boys. They are assembling the tacos. They just need some fish. We'll catch and cook walleye on there and you'll be set. It's almost ready. What'd you say? I said that's a lot of walleye. No, no, that's one walleye. Here you go, put that down. It is so hot. This is why they drove 15 hours for catch and cook walleye. Yeah. So good. Oh yeah. We're gonna enjoy this. 
well you guys have asked when am i going to fish with subscribers and we did it this was this was a lot of fun um any any final thoughts if you ever have the chance to go fishing with jay <laughs> it's a lot of fun <laughs> he was a great host i wouldn't trade this experience for the world amazing colin i'm sorry about your fish I, <laughs> my fish was delicious i don't care i missed yeah. one big one but the uh, fish i caught was delicious so i can't complain boys you guys are legends thanks for driving thank you as so far much. as you did unfortunately we can't live in the glacier forever we gotta head back these guys got school on monday so we're gonna head back to the landing i got a little something for them yet and uh yeah it's been a good trip it's been really good i wish we had a week because they didn't really experience the full power of lake winnipeg but anyways we'll pack up I don't think we could have got a better crew than these two guys. I, I mean, out of like whatever it was, 6,000 people. I, I think I'm the winner. They might think they're the winner. I think I'm the winner. No. These guys are beauties. I got some catch cook for them and I got another little goodie. Each of them are going home with a frostbite rod. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? This is a long rod for their 50 inch ice rod. So. That is what? amazing. And we got some catch cook for you too. You have a bag you can take all this. <laughs> Thank you no so problem. Much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Guys, you were so good. I, I honestly, the honor was all mine. And... All right. Well, Logan and Colin just headed back. 15 hours. Like, I, I know it's cheesy, but I, I really do think I, <laughs> I'm the lucky one that got to hang out with those guys because they were, they're just like, that was one of my tougher days, day and a half I've ever had on Lake Winnipeg. And they didn't complain once. They were just, soaking up the whole experience and uh just such good guys such good guys i'm so happy that they won and we're gonna do more giveaways team fui and west coast rv thanks for making it possible um and uh yeah that was that was a lot of fun chris chris helping us pulling the shack out and stuff and if you're in the market for a glacier mention this video get a thousand dollars off and support the people that help support this channel it's uh yeah I know I say it, I said at the start of this video, I'm gonna say it again. Um, I, I couldn't do what I do without uh, without partners. And they are great guys, just like Logan and Colin are. Man, I wish Colin caught that big one at the end. But anyways, that's fishing guys. Um, yeah, we'll catch you next time.